for dinner i'm going to be making fried chicken here are i pre-season and i season i slightly season the flour and then i fry my chicken i'm going to be making fried rice as well so here's my mixed vegetables we're also going to have sweet corn on the cob i already have the rice here but it's not enough so I have extra rice cooking. If you don't know how to um, cook rice, you can look it up on YouTube. I'm sure there's plenty of channels how to cook rice. But on my fried chicken, I used garlic pepper seasoning, steak seasoning, I used um, the yeast seasoning, and I used grilled seasoning. I didn't put any salt in my chicken because I'm trying to cut back and um let's get started okay you guys i usually put um my season in here but today i'm just going to put it on a plate and while you're doing this you want to go ahead and cut your oil you on i'm going to add some more of the cinnamon garlic pepper I'm going to be adding the Steakhouse Grilled Seasoning. I'm also going to be adding the Steakhouse Seasoning. These, I know that these seasonings have similar names, but they are totally different. Place some chicken onto the plate carefully. Take it and turn it. I'm going to start putting some of the chicken in the oven. I know some people wait or put it in the refrigerator. That's not how I was taught how to cook. I don't wait. I just put it right into the grease. You guys, I just put my um, corn on the cob on the stove. Um, I don't have any butter because I'm trying to be healthy while I don't have butter. So I just put a dab of salt into it. It's sweet corn. And you guys, the rice is done. Okay, you guys, I'm about to turn the chicken over. How you guys doing? I'm about to take the chicken out now. And as you can see, I like extra crispy.
This chicken is so good. My children and I sampled it a little bit. So I'm turning the second batch of chicken over. Look at that extra crispy chicken, you guys. I love it. Okay, it's time to take out the second batch. Extra crispy. That's the way my children and I love our chicken. I'm going to leave it in the substance at the bottom. I'm going to add onions and season and make some gravy. And I'm going to cut up some onion. I'm going to add a little bit at a time. It just will can, you know, come out smoother and it won't be bumpy and lumpy. And this is the consistency of it. I don't have measurements, so I just go by my, I just eye everything. So I'm going to add water. And I'm just going to stir it up. And now I'm going to turn the stove up very high. I'm going to put it on high. And you stir it up. Until it comes to a boil, then you can turn it down or off. Optional. Okay, I'm gonna turn this, put this on low now and let it start to boil you. I already know I'm gonna have to add some water to this, you guys, because I don't want it this thick. Guess I'm gonna have to add some seasoning to it. So I add some grilled seasoned salt and I'm going to add some garlic pepper seasoning. Now we're going to start on the fried rice. Okay, I end up adding more water. Because it was too thick for me. I didn't like that. I like this consistency better. And it actually still tastes good, you guys. Okay, now we can get started on our fried rice. Okay, you guys. Today we're going to use one egg. My daughter is not a big fan of eggs, so we just use one egg.
Okay, you guys, my veggies are done, so I'm going to set them to the side and start on my rice. This is the right rice we had from yesterday. Then I have some fresh rice I made tonight. I have some less sodium soy sauce. I'm just eyeballing it. Okay, now I'm about to add the vegetables. Now I'm gonna add the I'm gonna add the eggs. Any a little more soy sauce, you guys. Add the veggies. You guys, this is delish. I'm adding a little bit of the steak seasoning sauce, and then I'm gonna add a tad bit of sea salt. Hi you guys, this is the end results. We have chicken, veggie fried rice, and corn on the cob.